Here is another viewer requested video. And of course, I will put a link from that video to this video. And a couple of the viewers have requested some measurements because they're having a difficult time figuring out how to actually build it with the other video. So in this video here, I will provide you with some measurements and assembly methods along with a few pointers. And one of those pointers would be that you might not need this board here if you're going to attach plywood to the back. And of course, you can use whatever lumber you feel like using. If you want to use treated lumber or even redwood, cedar, anything like that, maybe even a harder lumber and you don't think you're going to have a problem with it, then feel free to use it. And I really can't tell you what type of lumber to use because in your area, you might not be able to get dug fir, you might not be able to get white pine or yellow pine, whatever they're using. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with some of our measurements. And you can see here where this board is going to be a two by four, 11 inches long. And everything here is a two by four. This one is going to be 11 inches long, 11 inches, 10 and a quarter and then one foot three these two boards here will be one foot three inches and then these two boards here will be eight and a half inches and then on the bottom we should have a two foot eight and a quarter inch board and I would also like to point out that I am designing this with my program and it is quite accurate however I have not built this particular set of stairs so feel free to let us know if there are any problems with the measurements and even though I think the stairway is going to be strong enough. If you want to add some plywood to the sides and the back, then here are the measurements for those pieces. So at the top, we are going to have a board that is three foot wide and the same width of our stairway. If you want to make the stairway larger, then simply make this board a little wider along with all of the treads and risers. So here we have three foot wide by one foot seven and a half inches tall. And then the measurements for the sideboard will be one foot seven and a half inches and a measurement on the bottom of two foot nine and a half inches and then six and a half inch risers all the way up and again these are measurements you can change also however if you do you will need to change some of the other measurements in the stairway and for those of you who are interested you want to see a variety of different stairways like this along with all the measurements then let me know in the comment area and then I can put together a few of them with different sized steps and risers and even a few more steps instead of a stairway with three steps maybe four steps two steps five steps something like that and for those of you wondering why I don't have the tread measurements here that's because they are over here this piece here is going to be exactly the same as this one here. So this measurement here will be the same as this one here. And the risers will be the same as these over here. So you're just going to simply turn this one over. And hopefully that makes sense. And next up, let's go ahead and lay out our bottom board. And you can do that by simply taking these blocks here and setting them on top of the board and then marking this area here. So we're going to have a mark here and a mark here. And we're going to use these marks here to line up our framing studs. And for attaching all of this together, you can use nails or screws. I will leave that up to you. And if the stairway is going to be located outside, you might want to use galvanized or zinc coated nails or screws and a 16 D nail might work just fine or maybe even a three inch long screw and then we can fasten these two boards together along with the first step over here. So you can have a couple of nails coming from the bottom and a couple from the side and of course our top boards here can be fastened again with nails or screws. And this assembly here should be identical to this one over here, so you shouldn't have a problem there, except for the fact that this board here will need to be located on the outside of this frame assembly and same over here. And then after that, we can nail our risers to the top. The top of the riser needs to be flush with the top of these boards here. And you might need to cut this one a little shorter. Here we're using a one by six. That's five and a half inches tall here. We're down here. You will need to cut a half inch off to create a five inch board here. And these boards can be attached with screws or 8D nails. And you could always use 
use four or five of them here instead of just using three like I have here. And of course, once you start to fasten all of this together, you're going to get a pretty good idea what the stairway is going to look like. And again, you might not need this board over here if you're going to attach the plywood to the perimeter of the stairway. However, I'm not entirely sure that the plywood is going to be necessary because this stairway should be strong enough. However, if it isn't, then that would be a good time to strengthen it up by adding the plywood around the perimeter. And of course, I will leave that up to you. And the treads can be attached with 16D nails or screws that are at least three inches long. And you can always put three nails or three screws per board where I only have two. And of course, to strengthen this area up here, I want to attach some type of a scrap piece of lumber, maybe a two by four or a two by six underneath this section here. And this is going to make the stairway a little stronger along with if it's going to be possible to add some nails, staples, or screws to the back here to make this part of the stairway a little stronger also. So if we don't put these nails or screws in, then the two by six tread, the two by six we're using for our step, could actually be a little weak in this area. And you can always use a longer board here, something that goes all the way down so that you have more room for the nails or screws back here and you can always nail or screw this block on to the riser before you attach the riser to the framing for the stairway and hopefully that makes sense because we are coming to the end of our video here and as always if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will try to answer them as soon as possible